All rise, he's Mark Skoll Jr. And he's Jamal Spencer. Sports Court is in session. Welcome to Sports Court. We're talking about the case of Carmelo Anthony versus Darko Milicic. Yes, I know you're wondering, again? Yes, again. Carmelo Anthony just retired after 19 seasons in the NBA, so that made us wonder, should the Pistons have drafted Carmelo Anthony over Darko Milicic? Pistons fans, you've been wondering this for 20 years. I'm gonna tell you, this answer is a resounding no. I'm not saying the Pistons should have drafted Darko, but they should not have drafted Carmelo Anthony. And the big reason why, if you drafted Carmelo Anthony, you never trade for Rasheed Wallace, and you do not win the 2004 NBA championship. You don't go back to the 2005 NBA Finals. It was Darko's deficiencies that made the Pistons realize they needed more help in the front court, and they traded for Rasheed Wallace, whose defense helped put Detroit over the edge. I think Pistons fans would rather have that ring and almost a second championship, too, more so than Carmelo Anthony. I think they would have traded for Rasheed Wallace regardless. And you add Carmelo, they went to five Eastern Conference Finals in a row after the 2003 NBA draft. They become a dynasty with Carmelo Anthony. We talk about the Spurs all the time as the team of the 2000s. I think it would be the Pistons, and I think they would have won it. Not two, but maybe three rings with Carmelo on the roster. He's got the ninth most points of all time. You're telling me that wouldn't have been a huge boost to that lineup? They didn't need offense. Rip Hamilton was a 20 point per game score. Chauncey Billups was giving you 18. Rasheed was giving you 14, 15. Points were fine. The Pistons needed defense to get where they are. But if Rasheed Wallace doesn't double team Mono Ginobili for some reason in game five of the 2005 NBA Finals, leaving Robert Ory wide open, again, for some reason, then the Pistons go back to back and we're talking about a dynasty. We're talking about a completely different type of thing. And that's without Carmelo Anthony. So I don't think the Pistons needed that offense. They needed Rasheed's defense. I don't think the Pistons trade for Rasheed Wallace if they drafted anyone but Darko Milicic. Well, maybe they would have won too, but they could have won even more with Carmelo. And you get, you get more guys coming to the team because when you got a guy like Carmelo Anthony on your team, that's someone that a lot of people want to play with. You saw Amari Stoudemire go to New York to play with him. He would have been able to get a lot more talent in Detroit, and they wouldn't have been struggling for what seems like a decade now and it's got to be one of the worst decisions in Detroit sports history. Two quick points and I'll let you take this home Mark. Number one, what did Carmelo ever win in the NBA, right? Whole lot of nothing. So miss me with you could have won more rings. Carmelo never won anything. The second point, he got out of Denver as soon as he can. So if the Pistons drafted a guy like that, he probably would have jumped ship and went to New York anyway. There's no telling what the future holds, but ultimately Carmelo didn't prove to be a very loyal guy with the Denver Nuggets. All right, so what's your verdict? Tell us what you think on Facebook, and we'll highlight our favorites next week. Last week, we asked if the Tigers should trade Eduardo Rodriguez. Edward had a very thought-out response. The question should not be, should the Tigers trade Rodriguez? It should be, how many more years should the Tigers sign him for? At some point, every MLB team has to decide the players they want to build a winner around. And Barb had some really strong feelings on this. No, what are you thinking? I know what I'm thinking, and that is we hope you can join us all again next week. Until then, Sports Court is adjourned.